<laughs> sure, sure, bro. How are you? What's up, bro? Yeah, um, Ash, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Marcello, what's up, brother? How you doing, my man? Um, I'm fine. I'm just glad, um, despite the fact that you are busy, you still made time to talk to me. Oh, no, nah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Yeah. How you been, man? How you been, man? Um, I've been okay. Yeah, trying there and there. And um, thanks again for making time to talk to me. You know, lately you have been busy. Um, I see that, I don't know, maybe you can tell me, are you in partnership with that um, FM, which you were hosting an event with last time? Oh, the, uh, uh, which event are you referring to? Which one? Um, I just forgot the name of the FM, but it starts with P. Um, yeah, man, I've been doing a lot, man, you know, myself and, um, uh, we've been doing, we've been doing a lot, bro. So, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember which one you, you're talking about, but you know, we've been just, you know, just trying to, it's just working, bro. You know, just working, putting it all together, letting it all come, you know, <laughs> you know what I like when you say, man, it ain't believing me, but God did. <laughs> <laughs> Um, God did. Yes, yes, God did. Uh, those are DJ Khaled's lines. So, like, I just love uh, what he's doing. So I was like, nah, let me try something like that. Yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. You know, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Despite uh, financial services, what are you currently busy with? Um, Well, right now, man, I'm actually... Uh, you know, of course I got my, um, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my show, my podcast that I'm doing, um, of course, you know, which I would love for you to come on as well too, you know, um, mm -hmm. of course I got the apparel, you know what I mean? Some talk to him apparel. I don't know if y'all can see this, you know, the talk to him apparel, got some hats, mm -hmm. you know, as well too. Um, actually in the, in the process of doing something major, with um with uh including that's including the schools bro so you know that should be good you know that should be good so you know yeah yeah um yeah, lately uh lately i saw you kind of selling talk to mj um clothing how are you planning maybe to to reach out like maybe to help them internationally outside the US? Um, um, really, man, just, um, just looking to, you know, you could probably be somebody that I'm, that I can connect with, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're trying to go international and cause you know, you out there in, um, you know, in the motherland, bro, you know, so definitely yeah. connecting with somebody like you, um, you know, if there's any, uh, you know, um, manufacturers out there, all these things, man. So definitely, bro. You know, um. So yeah. But you know, that man, that just, company. Yeah. I was saying, man. You know, man. We just we just hustling, bro. You know, what I mean, we just hustling, connecting the dots, brother. Connecting the dots, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Um, yeah, there are companies. Um, in South Africa, there's a company called. Take a lot. It works like Amazon. Okay. Yeah, What's so it? you just put your stuff there. Then people buy online. Um, take a lot comes and collect it from you and deliver it. So there's a kind of joining fee that you pay. And then there's a annual renewal fee. So it works pretty well, just like Amazon. It's number one company in SA in, in terms of um, selling and buying stuff online. Okay, absolutely, man. You're gonna have to give me that connect. When, when, once we get off, man, you gotta give me that connection. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, lately, um, we have seen like some disturbing news, and it's so sad. Uh, I have discovered tonight that every day in the U.S., there's a mass shooting taking place in every like. It may not be in the same state, but. Each and every state, there's a mass shooting taking place. 
Um, according to your own perspective, what kind of maybe factors that influence this kind of mass shooting? Well, bro, honestly, man, you know, I don't really pay a lot of attention towards that. You know, um, I'm really like, I'm really focused on what it is that I'm doing. You know, I'm yeah. really focused on people who is focused on me, like my team. Um, people, mm. people who who supports me, you know, like yeah. Uh, unfortunately, these things happen, man, and um, you know, it, it's a very unfortunate situation. But I really live my life in like this little bubble, you know, where um, I mean, of course, I hear about it just from social media. But man, honestly, I don't really, I don't really pertain even focus on anything negative right now because I can't do nothing with that. You know what I mean? Or I can't help those people. You know what I mean? It's really like I don't really focus on on those things right now. All my focus, all my attention is going towards something positive. Um, is going towards um, you know, helping helping myself. You know what I mean? Helping like you know, like my family, helping um people who's a part of my team, bro. You know, and of course, you know, I I, I ask the Most High to to protect and to guide. You know those people, but honestly, man, I don't even really, I don't even really pay attention to that. You know what I mean? I don't really pay attention towards it. You know. But I believe, as one who's in the same uh, kind of continent, or country, or state where this violence takes place, there's a a small role where which you can play in terms of maybe raising awareness or maybe trying to protect those around you. Because according to the research, they say that there's about 4.6 million uh, children lives in, a, in homes where there's at least one gun which is loaded or unloaded. So like the availability, uh, accessibility to guns to these young kids somewhere, somehow, does have something. So like you as a, as a, as a father, like as a, as a also a brother, the many people around your environment, what kind of role that you play to make sure that these people stay aloof from violence? Well, honestly, man, like, you know, I, I definitely believe in the, you know, in our rights to bear arms, you know what I mean? But also, oh. you know, honestly, man, I, you just gotta keep. You just gotta. You just gotta make sure. You know. You stay out the way. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like you just stay out the way. You keep your family out the way, and you stay out the way. You know what I mean. If everybody's going over there, and I see, yeah. okay, they're going over here. I'm gonna try to go over this way over here. You know what I mean. And just staying out the way, bro. You know, like because there's some foolishness going on out here in this world right now. We're living in. Um, we're living in. We're living in uh, beautiful times, but, you know, at any given time, anything can happen. You know what I mean? Anything can happen. So you really got to ask God for his protection to guide you. And, uh, and there's something called, like, the spirit of discernment, you know, the spirit mm. of discernment, knowing, like, you know, where to go, where not to go, who to be around, who to have around you. You know, that's really the spirit of discernment, man. And that's nothing. That's a gift from God. That's a gift from the, from the most high, bro, because, you know, we're really out here like sheep to be slaughtered, you know? So yeah. just making sure that, you know, you really, you, 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 you know, you, you, you trust in your inner, inner, your inner man to really know that, Hey, I, I'm not even going to do this. You know what I mean? Even if everybody else is going to do that, I'm going to rock out right, right here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Last, last time in our previous interview, you told me that you were a teacher, then you had to retire to come to financial services. So like at a time which you were still implementing your profession, were you safe, like being around school environment, knowing what is happening, like almost every day? Like this year is about 27 school shootings so far that has taken place. So like were you safe and are you still feeling... Uh, comfortable or at ease knowing that every day your kids go to school where there is these things happening? Well, yeah, man. Like, honestly, whenever I go somewhere, right, the first thing I look at is where's the exit signs? 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Anytime I enter someplace, I'm always thinking like, yo, where's the exit sign? Because you never know what can go down, you know? So mm -hmm. even in the school buildings, I'm like, yo, if any anything happens in here, listen, I love the kids, man. And, and if y'all want to be safe, you're going to want to follow me. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to find a way out of there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm going to find a way out of there. So I'm always looking at where's the exit signs? Where can I... Where can I maneuver at? Where, where can I, you know, just get out of harm's way? You know, because at any given time, bro, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So you got to make sure that, like, imagine, right? I mean, you pretty, you're familiar with the, um, with, with 9-11 and what happened that day, right? Um, yeah. You know, there's, imagine somebody, these people went, went to work, you know what I mean? Imagine the people who didn't go to work that day, you know, for whatever reason. You know, like that's yeah. why I have a I have a great, you know, just a great relationship with the most high and he protects me and he provides for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always like aware and what's around me. I'm always just thinking like, okay, how can I um how can I move? You know what I mean? How can I get out of harm's way? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that answered that question. And yeah, like it's crazy, man. Like things that are happening in the U.S. really, really um, breaking my heart. Cause like the research says that most of the actually people who are being affected or tends to be uh, black kids, more uh, other than like white peers, white uh, peers, yes, they don't die uh, or maybe they don't get killed as much as black. Uh, people and and also um knowing the things that black folks are facing and like most of the time it's people who are in poverty who are getting affected i know the story of michael jai why he said that at the age of 14 his dad was like no 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 now you need to have a gun with you to protect yourself because his dad felt like the gun is the only thing to keep him safe so uh, man, what are your comments? The fact that most of the time our black people are being affected and you are black also. Well, you also got to think, man. I, you also got to think, right? I think it's even it's even crazier when we kill each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, you know, like we got the cops after us. You know, we got the, you know, whoever but then also it's even crazier when we're the one who who's killing each other as well too that's almost like yeah. what that's, that's that's like cannibalism you know what i'm saying why would i want to kill somebody that looked just like me you know what i'm saying mm. but also um we've been programmed you know what i mean we've been programmed by the music that we listen to by some of the movies yeah. that we watch that it's okay to kill somebody that looks like you you know what i mean it's okay like no it's not okay that's 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 crazy you know what I'm saying? Why would I want to do that to a fellow brother? You know what I'm saying? So it's uh it, it's 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 the system that we in, you know, but also it's almost like man, stay out the way, Marcello. Stay out the way, brother. <laughs> stay out of the way, you know. Yeah, actually, like it's it's really, really crazy. I see somebody here. She said that U.S. has the highest rate of school shootings, mainly due to the gun laws in certain states. Um, what are your comments about that comment? Well, I don't know, man. I just think, like, even with that, man, it's just like, you know, what whatever happened to a fair one? You know what I mean? Like a fist fight. You know? Like, mm. what, people are scared to get banged up now? You know what I mean? Like, like, whatever happened to that? If you have a disagreement with somebody, hey, you know what? You two, y'all get in the ring and y'all fight it out. Even presidents. You know what I mean? Presidents and all these national people, you know what I mean? Like, they go over there and they send their army to do their dirty work. It's like, yo, y'all have a... I, people ain't do nothing to me. You know what I mean? Y'all go over there you guys figure that whole thing out. Or y'all fight it out. You know what I mean? All these guns and stuff, man. Like, only suckers can't, who can't fight utilize guns. You know what I'm saying? But don't get me twisted, though. You know what I mean? Like, worst come to worst, like, I'm going to protect my family, but also I know how to use my hands as well, too. You know what I mean? I know how to use my feet. I know how to use, I knew, I, you know, 
Like, I'm okay. You know what I mean? So it's only suckers, man, people who can't fight that actually have to carry guns. You know what I mean? Once you're okay with it, you move You move like a man. You move like how it is that you need to move, you know what I mean, to protect yourself, you know? Uh, but I always, I'm all, I'm, you know, I'm always down for, you know, a, a little combat, you know what I mean, a little combat fight, and if that's what it comes to, you know what I mean? But, you know, as human beings, we should be able to talk things out, you know what I mean, and, and, and work things out by having communication, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, it's, it's crazy because, like, uh, since 1970, uh, there's been about 2032 shootings, like mass shooting that are taking place. Someone gets shot in the car, couples get shot in the, in, in the car. Uh, we know stories of Clementa Pigney, I think you're familiar with. People just got gunned inside the church. Just imagine someone just walked inside the church, you are praying. Like you um, invite them in with love and 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 life. Oh man, this network. Oh, sorry, sorry, Ash network problem. Boom, you back on, bro. Yeah, 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 network. So as I was saying that. Mass shootings that don't take place only in schools, even in churches. Someone can be gunned, like jogging. We know a story of a man in 2022 was just shot, like he was literally jogging. So we know a story of George Floyd, like he died in the hands of the police also. So like everywhere, everywhere you go, there's this kind of misuse of firearms can be the law or maybe just an ordinary person. Um, you guys like or oh, do you like personally feel safe like at work do you think that you are going to come back um safe for our life i didn't i didn't catch that bro you was breaking up yeah, yeah it's, sorry it's that. network yeah yeah like i was saying that um due to all this stuff happening you know people get shot anywhere like whenever you go, do you feel sometimes say, "Nah, it's possible for me not to come back again tomorrow to see my kids and my family"? Well, yo, bro, you can't live your life in fear, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't live your life in fear. You know what I mean? I live, I live by faith, bro. I don't even move around in fear. I be, you know, the way I move, man, is like I'm protected. Just, just rocking with me, bro. So I don't even move in fear, you know, at all. So it's more about, you know, it's all about how you move too, you know. So I'm not somebody who's, you know, who's going out looking for trouble and any of that stuff, man. So, you know, I don't even worry about none of that, you know, uh, because I got angels watching over me, Marcello. You know what I'm saying? Them angels is with me, bro, you know. But when it's time, if it's time for you to go, man, you know, it's, you know, it's time for you to go. Uh, it's time to go but sometimes it's heartbreaking because like most of the time the people who are likely to be called happens to be from the age of 19 downwards um you can find out that those people are our next martin luther king jr those people are our next barack obama those people are our next kamara harris so only to find out they get killed like in a school environment you right. see it's really painful yeah, man, absolutely. I agree with you, bro, you know. But then, um, yeah. yeah, man, it's the world that we live in, man. You know, it's the world that we live in. Yeah, back to your business. Um, what are your plans for your podcast, for the MJ, uh, Talk to MJ show, uh, Talk to MJ uh, branding, clothing? What are the plans for this year and the next coming years? Well, the plan is, man, to get as big as possible. You know what I mean? I need to be international. I need to be in Africa like where you at, bro. You know, I need to be, you know, um, that's the plan. You know what I mean? In, in Canada, all over. You know what I mean? And continue to grow. You know, that's 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 where the focus is. You know what I mean? And continue to keep um, educating myself, you know, um, 
keep educating myself and uh so I can be able to be able to teach others as well too. You know what I mean? We have um you know, we have some financial literacy projects that's underway. Um, you know, that's that's really the main point, bro. You know what I mean? And just keep feeding the world with positivity. You know what I mean? Staying away from the negativity, you know, and just just feeding on positivity, you know. Um, and that's really the plan, bro. That's really the plan right now. You know what I'm saying? Just really staying positive and, and just keep going. That's right. Talk to them. Canada, I see you. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, my my network sometimes at night ash was very challenging. It's all good, man. What time is it out there? Where you at? Uh, now it's uh, 25 minutes to 10. Okay. Wow. Okay. I tell you, man, I want to cool. come down. I want to come down there and visit, man. You know? Yeah. Actually, you can come. Um, it's, it's, a good, it's a good environment. It's a good environment. Where, 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 you know? where, let me ask you this. Where are you from again? Where are you from? Where is it that you're from again? Uh, as I'm speaking to you right now, I'm in Johannesburg. Johannesburg. That's where Nelson Mandela is from, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from, it's from uh, a township called Soweto. It's about uh, less than 10 to 15 miles from here. Okay. All right. That's what's up. Yeah. Are you maybe planning to have... Um, talk to MJ Clothes in one of the U.S. Shop. Say it again. Are you planning to have talk to MJ Clothing Branding in one of the U.S. Uh, stores? We, we, we know what uh, Kevin Hart has did recently. He just uh, made his own tequila. is available in a lot of stores. Are you maybe planning to have your own clothing brand in one of the U.S. stores selling for you? Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be fly, man. You know what I mean? That'd be fly. But, you know, like at this point right now, man, it's just really, you know, it's a director, you know, with the Internet, man. You don't really, you know, you don't really, you don't really need that. You know what I'm saying? You want that direct to consumer relationship. You know what I'm saying? Direct to consumer. People can go on our website at talktoemapparel.com and just order it directly mm -hmm. from us. You know what I mean? We got we got a um, a specific uh, you know a, a specific system where boom they order it, we package it out, we ship it out towards you, man. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, really the stores is you know it's a it's a it's a it's a front. You really want to make sure you know you're getting that direct. To consumer relationship, bro. You know what I'm saying, and then, and then that's how you're able to build, and then the your consumers can actually come directly to you. You know, so although yeah, that'd be good to get into, you know, whatever stores that may be, but you know, it's it's you want you want to have that direct to consumer relationship, bro, especially in today's economy. Yeah, like online, onlineing, online, online um, selling is the future in these times that we're living in you can can buy yourself a lot of stuff from uh far countries in terms of maybe you had to go there directly you could just spend more than you spend buying online before the year ends <laughs> i will definitely have my orders of her yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'll have my orders i will have my talk to mj clothing no. Talk to him, baby. Talk to him. You already know, man. Talk to him. Yeah, I'm. I'm just still trying to uh, spare some coins and saving, but yeah, definitely I will order mine. Yeah, man. Now I love. I love what you're doing, Martello, man. You know, um, I, I see you doing something real amazing, real something big in the in the future, man. You keep doing what you're doing, brother. You know, you keep doing it, man. I love it. Oh, thanks, thanks. Uh, is that God's grace? 
um and his strength there's nothing i can do sometimes challenging i feel like you know what sometimes you feel overwhelmed but through his strength as like nah, let's just me keep going you know uh i love the words of martin yeah. king king uh um, the king junior he said he said if you can um run, if you can fly run and if you can run just walk and if you can walk just crawl but that's by it. all means just keep moving and uh, that's it bro that's it and you're moving bro you know what i mean you're moving yeah. you know you're doing it man you know what i mean and 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 that's what's going to make the journey even like you know that's what's going to make it even sweeter cuz once you get there you're going to look back like oh man i remember when i was Bah, 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 bah. you know what i'm saying or that's what even make <laughs> yo god did yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 oh uh, no Yeah, 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 thanks. Is this network sometimes is very bit challenging. Uh thanks bro this time despite the fact that you have your 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 schedule throughout the day but still uh you made time to talk to me. I really appreciate. I don't take it lightly. Um your last message in 30 seconds. Yo, my last message man is um Yo, go for your dreams, man. You know what I'm saying? Do what it is that you was out here to do. You know what I mean? Like we are all out here put on this earth to do something amazing. You know, I feel like I finally found I found my niche. You know what I mean? I found my niche, that thing that I was supposed to be doing in this world, you know? And um, you know, I'm just walking in it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just walking in it and I'm growing and I'm and 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 yeah man, you know what I mean? Just spreading out positivity, bro. Staying away from any haters, any negativity, bro. You know, and just um just walking in that light, you know? No, no, no. That's that's awesome. Just just uh uh enclosure. I uh, like the weeds by the Thomas Monroe. I I think you're familiar with him. Who is it again? The, Who would you say? Uh the Thomas Monroe from the the Bahamas. Oh, Miles Monroe. Miles Monroe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's something too profound. He was like the day he discovered his gift, he was like uh, I found my my treasure. I will never be broke anymore, you see. So the power of gifts here is it's very it's very uh powerful by itself, you know. The, f- the fact that you know your gift, you chase it after it despite whatever that you're going through. You know, sometimes we start something that is not related to our gifts, but later on we discover our gifts. It's boom. That's the treasure that we have discovered, you see. Absolutely. So, yeah, thank you, man. Um, see you in our next chat video. Um, may God keep you safe in everything that you do. May he always be there to grant you favor, to always guide you and, 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 and support you sometimes. we're going to fail because we are humans that's what um william said we're going to fail because we are human so despite the failures i pray that god may always be there to give you wisdom to give you courage for those who wait upon the lord they shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles so yeah delight in the lord he will give you all the desires of your heart yes, there are no temptations there are no temptations above our strength everything that god gave us is nothing impossible everything that god gave us is within our ability you know to to comprehend it to be able to deal with it there is nothing beyond our strength yes sir i agree 110% brother mm. yes sir amen uh, to that i am marcelo peace and blessings brother so so enjoy your day bro all right man